Hey guys, so I got a request on how to remove a Panel Ocean bracelet. So there's two ways to do it. You could use the spring bar pliers, but in this case here, I'm going to be using the Bergeon 6767F. Uh, I find that this is much easier to remove the Omega bracelets. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is turn the watch over. Uh, you see here that I have the dive extension on just so if I was to um, take the bracelet off here I just have some room to do it just because this thing's not in the way or the bracelet's on the way and same thing with this here a lot of people like to put masking tape around the lugs you could definitely do that I'm just I don't really care too much about that just because when we do take the bracelet off there will be a little bit of scratching if you're not using the pliers but that generally happens on the underside where no one really sees it and some of it is going to be covered by the bracelet anyways so I'm okay with that. So to get started what you want to do is just um, I like to put one finger on here and just push up. So by pushing up here when the bracelet comes off I'm forcing the bracelet to go vertically. By making it go vertically the scratches will just appear on the underside and not on the exterior of the case. So if some people like to um, take the case off this way, don't do that because when the spring bars come out to the end there, they will scratch the outside of your, your case here. So be very careful. Remember, bring it upward vertically. Put pressure with the finger here up and then when the spring bar is released, the bracelet will come up here and the scratches, if you get any, will be on the underside where no one sees. So that's basically the main point to, um, to consider when you're actually doing this. So with some with some pressure on my index finger there, I'm gonna take my tool to get in there, open it up, and there. So you might be able to see it there, but here this spring bar is no longer in the hole. It's actually just out of it. And then if you take it out on this side here and do the same thing, the spring bars are now disengaged. So with more pressure on my index finger of my left hand, it'll shoot the bracelet off. And that's it. And that's how you take it off. And you can see I have a few scratches here, but I'm okay with that. You can tape it up, like I said, if you really want to. That will maybe take away some scratches, but sometimes it's just inevitable to get scratches. The first one is the toughest to take off because you have to deal with the bracelet. But the second one here is much easier to do. So same principle as before. Uh, put some pressure on the bracelet here with the left hand index finger so the pressure is going upward and then we can take this spring bar here release it slightly there you feel it's disengaged in the hole and then we'll do the same thing on the other side slight push over and there both spring bars are disengaged with a little more pressure on my left hand and the bracelet will be released and just like that guys and that's how you remove the bracelet from the head. So when you're reapplying the bracelet, always make sure that the clasp here, the Omega logo, is facing the same way as the Omega logo there. And I guess we could probably just make it a little smaller. And then just turn it over and reapply. So the important thing to take here is that you're going to be resting the bracelet on top of the lugs here. So it's going to look like this. You'll see that it's just like that. And so we're going to do the same thing here. Pressure is going to go downward. And then let's push this guy in. And you can see he's seated there on the edge of the, uh, the lug. And then when we push this guy in, of course you don't want to put too much pressure on the left hand here. Because the more pressure you put on, the more scratching you could do with the spring bar. And just a little bit of pressure. And now you just wiggle it around a little bit until it's seated. You can hear it gets seated. What I like to do is just take the spring bar tool and just make sure it's at the very end there. There's nothing uh, preventing it from fully engaging to the hole. And that's one of the 
sides there. And let's continue on the other side. So this side is of course a little harder because now we have to deal with the bracelet in the way. But it's the same principle. You just lay the bracelet on top there. You can see the, the bracelet is kind of the way. You can see on the ends there we have the spring bar kind of protruding out. And with just a little bit of pressure, we could take this side here and put it in just a bit. And right there, it's in between the lugs, but it's not in the hole yet. Then on the other side here, I know it's tough to see with this angle. Give it a push, and then there, it kind of just seated itself. And that's what it does a lot of time. And just to double check, take the springboard tool, make sure that's in. Let's do it on the other side. Make sure that's in. But be careful guys, this is kind of sharp and it's pretty uh, hard. So make sure this doesn't go anywhere near the case if you can actually accomplish that. And that's basically it guys. That's how you uninstall and install an Omega bracelet. Thanks for watching.